Hi, I'm Mark, and I collect things. Sometimes I even play things, and I'm always here checking out the latest Marvel trading card blaster boxes. Today we're going to be opening up three retail blaster boxes of Marvel Beginnings Volume 2 Series 1. Each blaster box has nine packs per box, five cards per pack. They retail for $20 a box. I picked mine up from Walmart's website. I believe you can find these on shelves at both Walmart and Target. Here are the pack odds if you want to see what's possible to find in these blaster boxes. The red supernovas are exclusive to retail blaster boxes, and there's another highly limited numbered out of 10 flipped FX purple cards, which are also exclusive to retail blasters. There's a variety of inserts you can get, and you can get autographs, I think possibly even sketches too, although this does not list sketches, but very long odds on the autographs. All right, let's get into it and see what we can find. I think we're gonna find two or three of the Red Supernova exclusives per box, and then a variety of inserts across the three boxes. Would love to see at least one of the regular flipped FX cards and maybe an illustration board because I've not seen them in person yet. There are hobby boxes of this product, but in my opinion, they're a little too expensive right now. So I'm just gonna collect from some of these blaster boxes, I think. Maybe go after that Red Supernova exclusive set. Got Moon Knight featured here on the pack. And I think the pack odds are the same as what's on the box, but you can freeze it and take a look if you'd like. All right, so this is pack number one from box number one. Graviton base card, a point in time insert. Very cool, featuring Fantastic Four number one. Let's take a look back of that card. PT11 for this insert, Fantastic Four. And then behind it, there is one of the retail exclusive red supernovas of Valkyrie. It's kind of like a fireworks supernova effect there in the background. Pretty cool. We'll see if the parallel variety is notated on the back or not. And it does say red supernova there at the bottom of the card. Then finishing up the pack, got a Sin base card and a Shadrach base card. Taking a look at the back of the cards, even the base cards do say exactly what it is, base. And you get a nice timeline of the character's history, it looks like, pretty cool. All right, next pack from box number one. These packs are a little difficult to open. They don't open as easily as some of the other sets. Odin base card, Killmonger base card. There's another insert, Deep Lore, a Sentinels base card, and a Feral base card. Next pack, we'll see if we get an insert card in every pack, or if there are some packs that have all base. Looks like we've got another red supernova in this one. Taboo base, Ant-Man base, Cosmic Alpha insert of Silver Surfer's board, very cool. Red Supernova of Carnage. This is a great one to get a Red Supernova of. Very popular character, and it's a nice color match for the character. Very cool. Then a Summoner base card. So far we have found an insert in every single pack. Would be nice if that holds true throughout all of the packs and boxes. Edwin Jarvis base card. Valkyrie base card. Deep Lore Insert Card, Achilles Space Card, and Spider-Man 2099. That is a great looking base card. I like that you get nine packs per box. It's nice that there are multiple non-sports offerings now that have a significant amount of packs per box. So the Star Wars products also have quite a few packs. Ego the Living Planet Base Card, very cool artwork on that. Scorpion Base. Team Formations Insert of the League of Realms. Danny Moonstar base card, and Hope Summers base card. Next pack, we're over halfway through of that first box. A Lizard base card. Drax the Destroyer base card, and we got a Rainbow Foil of Valkyrie. I think these are fairly tough to pull in the Retail Blasters. Take a look at the back of this and see if it's notated. It does say Rainbow there at the bottom of the card. Then a Blackout base card, and a Star base card. Alright, next pack.
Black Talon base card. Constrictor. Here's a red parallel of Pepper Pots. This is not the retail exclusive red Supernova. This is just the regular red parallel, same as that you can find in the hobby boxes. And on the back of it, it is noted as a red base. And instead of the silver stamp, it has a gold stamp and outline on it. Kate Bishop base card and a Cardinal base card. So it does look like we are finding either an insert or a parallel in every single pack. Purple Man base card, Princess Python base, Red Supernova of Ego the Living Planet. Then finishing up the pack, X Nilo base card and Mr. Negative base card. All right, last pack for box number one. Jack of Hearts base card, the Human Torch base card, and another rainbow foil. So maybe they're not too difficult to pull of Heimdall. Although actually, this I think, this is a flipped FX, I believe. Let's take a look at the back. And it is a flipped FX, number 32 of Heimdall. Very cool. So the difference between this and the rainbow foil is that the artwork on the card is different than the base card, and there's also a texture on it. It's probably difficult to see, but the regular base rainbow foil is very high gloss. The flipped FX, though, has kind of a texture on it. Very difficult to see on camera here, but it is different. And additionally, the Upper Deck logo on the top right is silver, whereas it's the normal color on the rainbow foil. And when in doubt, if you're not sure what the parallel is, you can just look at the back. There on the bottom, it says Flipped FX. And behind it, an Arachne base card and Black Spectre base card. All right, so out of that first blaster box, we got one, two, three, four, five inserts, three of the red supernovas, and three other parallels, a flipped effects, a rainbow foil, and a red base parallel. That seems pretty good to me. I'll be pretty happy if all of these boxes have similar results. All right, so this is box number two. And pack number one out of box number two. Wolverine base card, a deep lore insert, a red supernova of Edwin Jarvis, a Listo base card, and a slingshot base card. Pack number two from the second box. Damon Hellstrom base card, Baron Blood base card, Alpha Flight team formations insert. Cassandra Romulus space card, and a bat space card. Pack number three. Got a Cyclops base card, very cool artwork on this card, and I love that it has a lot of the other X-Men featured there on the card as well. Devon Shikari base card, a point in time insert, a red supernova of Ashley Barton, the base card of Stingray. The set is pretty cool so far. This is my first time seeing it. I do feel like hobby boxes are a little too expensive, but I'm happy to be able to pick up some of these retail blasters and check it out. Man Bull base card, Modoc, a deep lore insert card, Jubilee base card, and I'm in base card. I think over time, Hopefully the hobby boxes will fall in price a little bit, especially since there are some bigger sets out now, like Marvel Masterpieces, and we've got Marvel Anime, and Premiere coming up soon. Kingpin base card, Thundra base card, Cosmic Alpha of All Black, the Necro Sword insert. That is a great insert card. Jack-O-Lantern base card, and Profile base card. Got a Red Skull base card. Excellent artwork on this. 
Gypsy Moth base card, another Deep Lore insert, the Maker base card, and Echo base card. I love this David Mack artwork. I absolutely love all of his Daredevil covers he did in that Marvel Knights Daredevil run. The set is pretty big. It's got 180 cards, and there are a ton of different inserts and parallels, especially if you go the hobby route. A Shocker base card, Thanos base card, very cool. Another red parallel of Cannonball. A Spot base card and a Dazzler base card. I think still looking for another red supernova and it looks like it's in this pack man thing base card mystique base card red supernova of blink then a rogue base card and a husk base card all right one last pack and we're definitely not going to find as many cool things as we did in the previous box it looks like We found three parallels besides the red supernovas in the previous box. So far in this one, we've only found one red base parallel. Jean Grey base card, another cool card, which features other teammates from the X-Men. Proteus base card. And humans team formations insert. Johnny Watts base card and the hood base card. So it looks like that first box I opened that had three retail exclusive supernovas and then three additional parallels is probably outside of the norm. That one was probably a little bit of a lucky box. All right, last box, nine more packs. We'll see if we find any parallels in this box or not. Would love to see one of the illustration boards or maybe get another flipped FX card. Impossible Man base card, Deep Lore insert, a red supernova of Taboo, Wonder Man base card, and a Squirrel Girl base card. That is a fun card. Alright, it looks like maybe we have another rainbow foil. Arnim Zola base card, Madam Hydra base card, a Mr. Negative rainbow foil. Let's just double check the back and verify that. And yes, it is a rainbow foil. Miss Marvel base card and Havoc base card. A Stilt Man base card here on top. Lyra base card. Got an Avengers Team Formations insert. Red Supernova of Pyro. And then a US Agent base card. The Red Supernova set, I think it's pretty cool. It's going to be a little bit tougher to complete it though compared to like Marvel Annual. The Marvel Annual Blues were one per pack, but these Red Supernovas are not one per pack, they're three per box. And there's 180 cards in the set, so it's going to be tough to put that together. Namor, base card, Justin Hammer base, a point in time insert, speed base, and Emma Frost base. And yet another card with a lot of the X-Men characters. I love that they have several cards here that feature multiple of the X-Men characters. I wonder if that's a consistent theme throughout the set for many of the main X-Men characters or not. Frankie Ray base card, Jane Foster base card, Deep Lore insert, Cannonball base card, and a Cosmic Ghost Rider base card. Very cool card to have in the set. Getting close to the end of the packs for this video. We'll have opened 27 total packs. The Jackal base card, Dreamweaver base card. And here is one of those illustration boards. Very happy to have pulled one. Wanted to see one in person. And it is kind of a matte finish. Take a look at the back of it. IB-30. Very cool insert series. I like the matte finish and I like that it's in black and white. It's gonna be a lot of fun to put a set together of these, I think. That'd be pretty cool. A Sentry base card, and then finally a Warpath base card. Three packs left. I'm 
Molten Man base card. Oh, we've got a blue card in here. Sabretooth. A Spider-Man 2099 blue. That is fantastic. What a great character to get a blue parallel of. Nice color match with the suit. Blue base parallel. Looks great. Then a Hero Kala base card and Rio Morales base card. Next to last pack here. Abomination base card, Craven the Hunter base card, a red supernova of Ant-Man, Riot base card, and Annihilation base card. All right, last pack. We'll see if we can find one more parallel or not. It might be that that first box I opened was the best one. Diablo base card, Tiger Shark base card, Cosmic Alpha of Crimson Gem of Ciderac insert, Dread Knight base, and Speedball base. All right, so to recap, out of three blaster boxes, 45 cards per box, 135 cards total. For the base inserts, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the Deep Lore inserts, one, two, three of the Team Formation inserts, one, two, three of the Cosmic Alpha inserts, and three of the A Point in Time base inserts. For the retail exclusive Red Supernova parallels, we got three per box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. With Carnage definitely being the best one, I think. And then for the more difficult to pull cards across three boxes, we did get two red parallels, one blue base parallel, Spider-Man 2099. This is a great looking card. One of the illustration board inserts, two rainbow foils of Valkyrie and Mr. Negative, and then one flipped FX card of Heimdall. At a price point of $20 per blaster, I think it's a decent value. It's quite a bit of fun to open up nine packs and you get a nice variety of cards. I like the red Supernova exclusives. And I like that there's several different parallels you can find in the blaster boxes. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the set and if you're collecting any of it, either through hobby or retail blasters. If you've enjoyed this video and like to see more trading card related content, I encourage you to consider liking and subscribing. That would help out my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.